Superman number 28 was published a few days ago with this impressive cover by the talented Ivan Reyes. Written by Brian Bendis, the book reveals what happened to Superman after he ended up in a universe with an orange sun. We last saw how Superman was attacked by a powerful alien called Aizno Alcor, with whom Superman could not communicate using any of the known languages. He then teleported the alien into the Phantom Zone, where they could fight without hurting the innocent people. Superman avoided clashing with the alien as much as he could, and tried to make him understand that he wasn't his enemy, and that he did not want to fight him. The alien said the word Senmar, but Superman did not understand its meaning. He then opened a portal out of the zone and asked the alien to take him to his home and to show him the problem. The alien took Superman to his planet, which is bathed in an orange sun, where Superman started to feel uncomfortable. The alien then told Superman that they entered the Senmar solar system, where the orange sun affects Superman. In this universe, the alien could understand Superman perfectly, and told him that the fight is over, and that his powers are greatly diminished. He then said that he speaks for all the people of Senmar. Superman's surrender is noted, and that their entire collective grants will watch his final punishment. Our book for today opens with Senmar's leaders watching Superman who was brought by Aizno Alcor to Senmar, causing them to question the reason behind that, and to worry that the Justice League may come to Senmar in order to retrieve him. Alcor said that he brought Superman so that he could inspire them all. The leaders told Alcor that he was meant to protect Senmar, but his actions can only be considered as oppression and domination. Alcor denounced the leaders as liars and killed them. Suddenly, the forces of planet Senmar intervened and ordered Alcor to leave and to never come back or that they will fight him till death. Alcor said that they are galactic powers being held back by small minds and attacked them. Meanwhile, in Senmar's orbit, Superman met Galana Rodoso, Alcor's light partner, who told him that no Kryptonian has ever traveled to Senmar. Superman told her that he is being held against his own will, and that this is considered as a crime. Galana said that Superman was brought by Aizno Alcor, who was created in Superman's honor, and was trained in anticipation of Superman's attack. She said that the dispute between the leaders caused Alcor to lose faith in his people, and in turn, became a tyrant conqueror. She said that Alcor, who was supposed to be Senmar's protector, has become its destroyer. She wanted to return Superman to Earth, but he insisted that he wanted to stay, to help in any way possible. Galana said that Superman doesn't have the light to fight Alcor, but granted him a battle suit that would allow him to survive in Senmar and to fight Alcor evenly. Superman dashed into the battlefield and clashed with the powerful alien, who managed to knock him away. Superman urged Alcor to surrender for the greater good, but Alcor refused the offer and attacked, forcing Superman to deliver a powerful punch which knocked the alien unconscious. The United Planet Brigade then arrived, stating that they received a distress call from the Fortress of Solitude. Hawkman then told the people of Senmar that everything is under control. Supergirl and Crypto then arrived and told Superman that Kallax sent them. Superman returned back home and went with Lois to visit a young guitarist called Rona Kowalski. Superman told the girl that he heard her playing and thought that he should come and say hello and that how much he loves her work. He told her how much her music inspires him and helps him return home whenever things seem dark and asks Rona to play Mary Poppins on Lois' request. As Rona begins to play, Superman takes Lois deep into the sky. Bendis, in my opinion, should have elaborated more on how the orange sun would affect Superman's powers, but preferred to conclude the story of Senmar in this book. Ivan Reyes' incredible artwork makes the poor plot more interesting to read. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.